The original research was to uh, automatically detect diabetic retinopathy. It's the leading cause of blindness in the uh, developed world in order to improve screening and treatment of diabetic patients. The aim of the research is to extract and measure retinal blood vessels from retina and uh, to study the changes that happen to these uh, blood vessels due to different type of diseases such as diabetes and hypertension. We do something called retinal imaging so you take pictures of the retina, the back of the eye, and then we take computerized measurements, we analyze these and we're trying to correlate them with diseases to understand how they're developing. We uh, started by looking at a very specific condition, diabetic retinopathy, very important medical condition, and looking for lesions in the eye. Over time, we've realized we need to understand how the whole structure of the vessels is changing. And so we're now moving towards modeling the entire structure of the blood vessels, any modifications that may happen, and then looking at the relationship to diabetic retinopathy and many other diseases. Usually, the changes that happen to the blood vessels are irreversible changes. If you're able to detect these changes on the early stages, then you can prevent a lot of complications that might affect the eyes. And uh, some of these complications could lead to blindness. So it's very important to predict these changes and on the early stages. The work we do is important because 50% of deaths are the result of chronic vascular conditions. And so any methods that can improve diagnosis, monitoring treatment of vascular disease are incredibly important. It already has a very significant impact within the field of retinal imaging, within its own area. But the techniques we develop, the image processing techniques, can be used widely for all sorts of other forms of diagnosis or other applications. We've uh, recently started a large EU collaborative project. There are 10 partners, budget is 3.8 million euros over three years, and the project is coordinated here in Lincoln, and I think that shows the impact our work is having.